Hello, big cliffhanger door. Do I hear more? I do hear more blacksmithing. Yeah. We teleported from one blacksmith to another blacksmith, then walked over here to see another blacksmith. Remember when you all fucking vanished the moment I actually got a frozen flame or tear or whatever earlier? What's up? What you looking at? Hmm? No new dialogue for now. What is it? Oh, hey. Oh, there's a few of them, huh? Oh, yeah, there is. They're all sorts of different colors, aren't they? Yeah. I like the part where you used a magic swarm of freaking wolves to fight their swarm of wolves. Also, swarm is a weird word to use to describe a pack of wolves. One might use that word, the one I just said, instead of swarm. Whee! Well, it's a good thing that we found this elevator. Otherwise, we'd have to, you know, redo that entire area. Do you, do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. Maybe he'll hand you your mom when it's time for the final rite or whatever. I think he's just really freaking out about the idea of it being his fault if something happens to her. I think that's what's tearing Kratos apart a bit. That he can't trust so the responsibility. The you would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Couldn't tell if that was a th an ironic or unironic. Thanks. Aha! I thought I heard something. There we go. It varies from time to time. But sometimes it's a really subtle sound that you won't, that's really easy to miss, which is probably why I didn't hear that the first time. And other times it stands out like fucking crazy. Alright, let's summon a pack of wolves, which is the correct word. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Do it. Ah. Uh, I guess we're not we're doing this we're supposed to do this in cutscene mode, aren't we? What's over there? Hmm. Just a pile of money hanging out. Man, those arrows are recharging pretty fast these days. She was Come, let us finish this. Oh, we're using the Bifrost. Uh, I can still control him. What is that up there? Creepy red thing. Ahead. 
Then we climb. Hmm. Is this going to happen again? Are we going to get further along the process of this and something else is going to block our path? And then we come back down to and go to another realm to solve that problem? How do I get over there? I guess he said we climb. I feel like we could have just gone over that pile of rocks, but okay. You know, Mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. He was doing the terrifying no-leg climb. It was just his hands. Fuck that. I can't really see where I'm going, so hope I'm going the right way. Please don't attack me. Ah, here we go. This may even be my chance to get to that chest. Ooh, what's that? Look at this view. Glacial Catalyst. A shard from one of Hell's glaciers. It can be used to upgrade the charm of Infinite Storm. Ah. Some of these are very specific. Really specific things upgrade really specific other things. Legendary enchantment reduces the rage cost of using attacks while in Spartan range by 15%, up to 45%. You can cut it, you can basically cut it in half. Ah, we finished a treasure map. Oh yeah, I think I do remember a treasure map that looked like a face or something. So far I've never cut, finished a single one on purpose though. I only finished them- Where are we going? The entrance was back there. Are you in a hurry? No, but you normally are. I'm happy to keep exploring. There's a thing down here, clearly. Shit. Oh. Well, that's not great news. Well, there's something at least. For now. You wanna leave already? We just got here. There's so much dialogue in this game. They covered every corner in every scenario possible. Oops, Daisy. Still pretty dark in here. I'm not getting nearly as much light from this thing as before. It might be because it's bright enough around here that the contrast is too low. Or it's too high, I suppose. Because with the place where this light was more effective, it was way darker. I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Across, but there's a sandbowl. This is beautiful. Time for a little bit of geologic review from earlier. Remember when I talked about there being horizontal layers? The principle of original horizontality still applies here. You can see continuously that each layer has the same slant throughout this room. All along these walls, and around there, and around there. It's all slanting in the same direction. 
And that's because when this rock was deposited, it was originally at that horizontal plane. And then via folds or faults and other upheavals that happen over great amounts of time, uh, this whole area is tilted at this angle. And then, it er then the opening eroded down, and that's why there's all this gap here, is that this area was eroded away, likely by water. It's usually water. Uh, and give it, that gave us this open cavern. But as you can see, like, it's all the same. If you look at the flat surfaces and some of the cracks in between, they'll indicate what was originally the horizontal plane. So you can get a, you can get a sense of how the whole place changed. So if you can imagine, like, if this part was, like, coppery looking for example just just this one part and you could and it, it was a vein going through all this you'd be able to trace it all the way to the other wall and you'd actually see where it matches up like if there was any like there's no variance here it's all one continuous uh rock formation really but if there was different stuff in the strata you'd actually be able to find stuff on this wall then match it up with that wall based on how it lines up and you'd see that the same pattern is on would be on both walls and part of what we had to do in our big geolo geologic trips was actually map that stuff out. We do this on, in, instead of being in a small scale room like this, it, imagine an entire valley where you have to map out the contacts from one side to the other because the valley is where a river cut through the land and eroded it away. And so that whole chunk of the dirt and rock and so on is all missing. But if you go look and look at the left side and the right side and even parts of the in, inside of the valley itself, over the course of multiple square miles of land, you can still find these continuous horizontal planes going from one side to the other, and you can map it. And wherever there's anything that breaks the rules of what you know is supposed to be there, you can figure out the geologic history, like what kind of faults there are that interrupt the pattern that you can clearly observe is supposed to be there, and stuff like that. I had a great time on those trips, because it's because the whole thing is a puzzle-solving thing. No, no joke, like you, when you get to the end of geology and you go on the big of uh, the geology like bachelor's degree program at most schools and you, get to, and you get to the big like month long trip that you take with all your classmates It's like a giant riddle. It's like a mystery where, Like you get you're just given this giant ins insane looking puzzle and you're given like five days to solve it and you all You all have these drawings of what is your solution? of the problem essentially and you present it and you argue it you make a report where you argue why you think your solution is the correct one and then you all get graded on those and move on to the next site and you do that like four or five times over the course of a month and then overall you hope for you just kind of hope for the best so a lot of people a lot of people found it very stressful oh shit a lot of people found it very stressful, but I found it really, really enjoyable. I had a great time. But I, I get why it's stressful. It's the big final class of your entire major, so that's already stressful enough. But on top of that, it costs like a thousand dollars. Because it's... They're, they're, they're taking care of your room and board and your food. And just generally keeping you alive and in some form of civilization over the course of the whole thing, even when, even if it is camping or whatever. Because uh, and yeah, some of it you're in, some of it you're in weird public-ish like camp-style dorms, and some of it you're, some of some of our trip was in the University of Reno, Nevada. In a cave? Weird. Which is not our university, but it was a local place we could use rooms at for a while. This is some mechanic we don't know yet. And then for a big chunk of the trip, we were also just farming. I mean, why the fuck did I say farming? For a big chunk of the trip, we were camping, just out roughing it. How do you think that got up there? What is that? Oh, hey. That's just one of those crystals. How do I get- how do I get that to come down? There we go. Whoop. Hey. Neat. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Huh. Oh, here, here we go. Does the other one have a crystal already? It does. Ah, I didn't even notice this was missing. Okay. That looks right. I just inherently went and checked out what was... What was over there. But yeah, this kind of shit, this is structural geology. 
This is stuff that I that I latched onto way more and was way more interested in. If you shove a rock in my face, you're like, what is it? I'm like, I, you're gonna have to ask a mineralogist because that stuff fell right back out of my head for the most part. I had to study so hard to pass mineralogy exams and they did not stick with me long-term. Mineral identification's a son of a bitch. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree doth know my call. Hmm. I'm really bad at riddles if you do, if I can't re sit there and read it over and over again. No rooted tree, no my call. I already forgot a couple of the lines. Let's just see what happens if I just do this. Still no help. No, he, does he go all the way in one go or no? I wonder what? Oh, he drops it. Weird. Hmm. Wait, if I if I stuck to the, if I ended up having a career in that stuff, I definitely would have been focusing on structural geology. If I could. The reality of ge of geology jobs is way less glamorous. Lots of waterboard and surveying and mining. Looks kind of like, looks a little bit like Mjolnir, but the staff's way too, this, yeah, the handle's way too long. Okay, can I, can I read it if it's in here or something? Send the mountain. Why can't I get you to repeat the riddle? You'd think I could get you to repeat it a few times. I don't know, whenever I try to solve a riddle, I have to read through it like three times to get with the word player what they're trying to trick me with. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. Yeah. We can't solve that still. Whatever that is. We might get that if we go in here. We might find out what it takes. And I can't throw my axe out. Yeah, I can't use my axe. I'm leaving and coming back to see if I can get you to reread the message. Purple? What's up with that? Oh, I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting about this mechanic where you have to shoot these. It's, un it's unusual. It's pretty normal to be like, oh, we need a power supply to go into the spot, and then the thing will work. Okay, sure, I get you. That makes sense. But the idea that we have to shoot it with an arrow each time, I keep forgetting about that step. Rose, I can read it now. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Rouse. What you doing? That's creepy. Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. Neat. It's like the Hobbit. Really a kind of permanent door opening process, isn't it? Like it has to heave it out of the stone each time. It's like a door that's only meant to be opened once or something. I guess whenever I don't understand the riddle or I or I forget part of it or something, I should just not care. Because I, I guess, technically, the uh, solution to the riddle never actually is part of me solving the room, is it? 
there's always something else happening in the room that just leads to him then saying the answer. So the, it's mostly just for the satisfaction of if you want to guess the answer. And there's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? Yes, sir. That helps, right? So you can have the satisfaction of having guessed it correctly, if you happen to. But aside from that, I guess I should just move on. I keep make, I keep making the, because it's a, a question is being posed to me, so I keep making the mistake of thinking that I need to try to answer it. I get fixated on the wrong thing. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your fault. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. He is very big. Yeah, Loki was a giant, and he wasn't very big. But then again, I don't know why Loki was specifically is a giant when everyone else isn't. When everyone else is like one generation removed from being a giant anyway. So it's all very strange. But I think I talked about that before already, that genealogy in, Nor in the Norse mythos is very strange. Almost certainly because they just kind of probably came up with all these characters first and then came up with their family tree afterwards and it only vaguely kind of made some sense. And of course they're, they're fictional characters from an era where people had a much more tenuous grasp on the concept of breeding and genealogy to begin with. Alright, well that whole area is creepy and very Hellblade Senua's sacrifice-y looking. And what's over here? Things are getting downright atmospheric around here. Ooh, spiky. Dirty armor favor favoring cooldown. Oh, he's armored. I thought he had scales. I thought he had scaly skin for a second there. He looked like he was shirtless. Can you keep moving? You're very impatient. I know that you might be speaking on behalf of the audience sometimes, but stop. <laughs> we'll reach. We'll reach everything in due time. Please just get rid of the many targets if we can. Ah. Come back here. Not gonna lie, this camera angle's not doing me any favors. Okay. I'm not great at fighting you guys, apparently, but it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> Oof. That was a Scott Pilgrim moment if I've ever seen one. Sweet coins. <laughs> Just grab her by the head, swing her around, she explodes into money. Like some kind of a skateboarding actor. Ah. Oh, that would have made it a little easier. Or not. That's that's when I missed. Get shit on, Odin. Yeah, for me, he's the fucking villain. On top of murdering a bunch of slaves, he's 
seems to be the most responsible for Ragnarok happening out of all the gods. Just kind of a piece of shit. The deceptive, backstabbing, garbagey person. Not a lot of redeeming qualities, honestly. Ooh. Anyone else getting like a Doors of Pharaohs vibe right now? Ooh, that's far away. And the water's getting very blue down here. I've lost track of my sense of direction a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're being consistent about the lean of these rocks, based on what I said before. Because you can see, like, from one side of the room to the other, there's a, con there's a consistency here. I imagine they probably maintain that consistency all the way through that tunnel and all the way through here in the entire environment. But I hadn't... I didn't keep a very close eye on it when we went to the dark tunnel. I don't know what you're supposed to be. But there's probably three of you anyway, so I need to find the other ones first. And also the destinate the thing that tells me the answer. Hello. I got these crystals. Ah! There we go. Deleted. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Bad times for people who aren't me. Your life. Yep. Clean. There's number two. And that's gonna take us somewhere else. Rats! Dead. <laughs> I think I missed. There's so much wildlife in this game. Wow. That's dedication to stab somebody into the wall. Significant number of bodies. Yeah, th I figured those ones wouldn't wake up. Because when I ch when I aimed at this guy a second ago, he was red when I aimed at him. So I think your reticle turns red when you aim at those who are not truly dead. Ah. Lighting up a place like this is always satisfying. Oh, there's a crystal back there. A few different details here and there. Bottoms up. What do we have? Mead? Horns? Chalices. The giants of the mountain were so creative. Even these cups are little pieces of art. No two are alike. Each one's special. We should see how many we can find. They seem rare and valuable. Even, even what, uh... Even what... Atreus said a moment ago isn't entirely true. Sometimes giants are just people. Other times giants are, well, giant. It's another one of the not always entirely consistent narrative elements. Does, does that thing work? I didn't think so. Because it was visible? Could you not see it? He can shoot through walls now. Neat. Oh, there's the third one. Ooh, cool staircase. I'd, I'd probably go there at some point. I don't know. Oh, hey. 
Important. Ooh, I gotta see that again. Did, you, did he just do a cool side flip? Oh my god. That roll. That's fantastic. That tuck and roll. Alright, get up. Get open. Mother, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. I was gonna say fucking huge. Yeah, it's big. 